The Byzantine Empire, with its grandeur and cultural achievements, has often captivated the minds of historians and enthusiasts alike. However, beneath the splendid facade of Byzantine society lies a darker chapter that remains relatively obscure, the sufferings endured by women slaves. Because of that, we shall delve into some of the unspeakable atrocities faced by women slaves within the Eastern Roman Empire. The origins of Byzantine slavery can be traced back to antiquity, with roots in the practices of the Roman Empire. When Rome split into the Eastern and Western Empires in the 4th century, the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, inherited and further developed the institution of slavery. So slavery was deeply entrenched in the socio-economic fabric of Byzantine society, and it remained a crucial pillar of the empire's workforce for centuries. Slavery in Byzantium was a multifaceted institution that found its sources from various avenues. One of the primary means of acquiring slaves was through warfare. Captives taken during military campaigns were often enslaved, and those unfortunate enough to survive the brutality of war found themselves reduced to the status of a slave, with their freedom stripped away. These war captives were frequently transported from the newly acquired territories to the heart of the Byzantine Empire, Constantinople, to be sold in the bustling slave markets. Another significant source of slavery in Byzantium was piracy. The Mediterranean Sea was notorious for pirates, who captured ships and their crews, subsequently selling the captives as slaves. Women captured during these maritime raids faced a life of unimaginable hardship and degradation serving their masters on land after enduring perilous journeys across the seas. Moreover, social vulnerability was a contributing factor to the growth of the slave population. Poverty, debt, or being born to slave parents meant that some individuals were born into slavery or became slaves due to dire circumstances. These slaves, often referred to as verni, had limited prospects for freedom and were typically bound to serve their masters throughout their lives. When it comes to women's slavery, unfortunately, sexual abuse is part of it. Sexual exploitation and abuse were among the most disturbing and pervasive aspects of the lives of women slaves in Byzantium. These unfortunate women faced unimaginable horrors at the hands of their masters, fellow slaves, and even visitors to the household. Their status as slaves left them vulnerable to heinous acts with little recourse for justice or protection. Perhaps the most prevalent form of sexual exploitation endured by women slaves was being forced into concubinage. Many masters considered it their prerogative to take female slaves as concubines, subjecting them to sexual servitude without their consent. These women had no say in their fate and were forced to submit to the desires of their masters, often enduring ongoing abuse and violation of their dignity. Another awful thing was the usual dehumanization. Women slaves were dehumanized and treated as mere objects of desire, stripped of their agency and autonomy. They were reduced to commodities, their worth measured solely by their physical appearance and ability to please their masters. This objectification perpetuated a culture of entitlement among slaveholders, further devaluing the lives of women slaves. Sexual exploitation often went hand in hand with physical and emotional violence. Women slaves who resisted or failed to meet their master's expectations were subjected to brutal punishment, which sometimes resulted in severe injuries or death. Moreover, the constant threat of violence created an environment of fear and intimidation, leaving these women emotionally scarred and traumatized. Also, women slaves were not only vulnerable to abuse from their masters, but also faced the threat of violence from other members of the household, including fellow slaves. In some cases, male slaves, driven by the patriarchal norms of the time, felt entitled to exert power and dominance over their female counterparts, further compounding the suffering endured by women slaves. What is worse, the sexual exploitation of women slaves extended beyond the confines of the household. Visitors and guests to the household were often allowed liberties with the female slaves, considering them as objects available for their gratification. This form of abuse exposed women slaves to a constant stream of potential abusers, further eroding their sense of safety and dignity. At last, the Byzantine legal system, as it was a continuation of the Roman one, offered little protection to women slaves against sexual exploitation and abuse. Slaves were considered property, and their well-being was not a priority in the eyes of the law. 
This lack of legal standing meant that perpetrators rarely faced consequences for their actions, perpetuating a culture of impunity. What is worth adding is, of course, the moral attitudes of the Romans to the female slaves. While some individuals may have viewed sexual exploitation and abuse as morally reprehensible, others perceived it as an acceptable norm within the context of the institution of slavery. This moral gray area contributed to the perpetuation of such abuses. The Byzantine slave system granted masters absolute authority over their human property, and this power was frequently abused through the imposition of inhumane punishments. Women slaves in particular were at the mercy of their master's whims, and any perceived disobedience or transgression could lead to severe consequences. The lack of legal protection for slaves meant that there were limited checks on the cruelty they could endure. The choice of punishments the master had was terrifying, from whipping and flogging, mutilation, such as cutting off fingers, ears, or noses, inflicting both physical and psychological trauma that would stay with them for the rest of their lives, to the use of torture devices such as the rack, the iron maiden, or the thumbscrew, to even an execution. These inhumane punishments created an environment of terror and submission, wherein women slaves lived in perpetual fear of the consequences of any perceived misstep. The absence of legal protection allowed masters to wield their power without restraint, perpetuating a cycle of violence and abuse. The plight of women slaves in Byzantium represents a harrowing chapter in human history. The unspeakable things they endured reflect the darkest facets of human nature and the structural injustices embedded within Byzantine society. We had to be glad that these terrifying times are long behind us.